Hi, this is Gabor from Odis, and today I want to give you some ideas and tips about using one of our age domains, konasul.org. As you can see on my screen, this is a travel-related domain, and it's already 24 years old. And one thing to note that its language was originally in Portuguese, and it was a Brazilian website, and it has many links from Brazil. And it used to be a development foundation uh, in Brazil, based in Brazil. You can see how it looked like some years ago, originally. So very old design. And it had many real offices all around Brazil. So I searched for Conesul, what it means, and actually it has a meaning, it means Southern Cone in Portuguese. So the Southern Cone is a geographical region in South America, in this place. Um, so it includes Chile, Argentina, Uruguay, and some Southern parts of Brazil. And they have high life expectancy, the highest human development index of Latin America, high standard of living, low fertility rates, and temperate climate. And this makes, makes it the most prosperous subregion in Latin America. So if you want to sell something in Latin America, then this would be a very good domain for that. But because the meaning is a ge geographical uh, region, then of course the best use would be to create a travel website. And if you look at the original site, it had English, Spanish, and also of course Brazilian Portuguese languages, but its main language was Portuguese. So I think you should do the same. You should first do it in Portuguese, and then you can think about translating some content, but I'm not sure it's even necessary. So if you're searching for a very good and very strong um, website or age domain for Brazil, then I would really recommend this one. Let's look at its backlink profile. So it has a domain rating of 26 and almost 300 referring domains. These referring domains are not um, so popular for us, but I think they are quite well known in Brazil. And this was a government related or something close to government, this foundation. So it has many, many backlinks from the Brazilian government. And as you probably know, uh, government backlinks are even harder to get than educational backlinks. So these are worth a lot because Google trusts these a lot. And it has more than one government link. And of course, many other links from the 300 referring domains in total. And I also looked at its anchor text, so this is very, very natural. So mostly it's the domain, which is the anchor text, and some variations of the domain or the name, or it also says Fundação Conesul. I was in Brazil for six months, so I speak a little Portuguese, so this is a bit easier for me. But don't worry, even if you don't speak Portuguese, you can create this website. I will show you, show you in the end. <clears throat> so, if it's uh, travel related, then I search for travel, travel, which is viagem in Portuguese and only in Brazil. And it has a keyword difficulty of, of 60, which says that it's hard and they estimate that you would need backlinks from about 129 websites. 
but this domain already has double the links of that. So you have a real possibility of ranking even for the very hardest keywords. These are some of the metrics in the top 10 for Brazil. And the domains, I mean the referring number of referring domains is mostly lower than this age domain. So you definitely have a chance here. And for this keyword, Viagem, many, many people search for more than 100,000 per month. But if you type this keyword into Ahrefs, you can see many, many good related keywords. For example, there are some keywords which have zero keyword difficulty and thousands of monthly searches. For example, this one, Mala de Viagem, has a keyword difficulty of zero and almost 200,000 searches per month. So this is actually, it means travel bag, like these. And yes, this is the Brazilian version of Amazon, so you can uh, also offer products from the Brazilian version of Amazon and you can join the affiliate program. So let's see this keyword again, this Mala de Viagem, for example. These are the top results in the SERP and they have back zero, two, four backlinks, something like that. <clears throat> Even though their domain rating is quite high, sometimes, but not always. So this is just one option, so you don't have to stay strictly with travel. You can do other uh, topics as well, especially because the anchor text is mm, very branded, so this can be almost any kind of site, but of course the best would be a travel site. And if you want to create a travel site, you should of course include all the countries which are part of Conesul, which you can find on Wikipedia, and then you can create a travel website um, about this area. Before I had also one travel website uh, which was in partly Portuguese. I mean, it was based in Portugal, in Algarve. And this was an age domain that I bought. So I built out this site, so it has some articles and you can book a hotel here and um, so you could also book, book flight, flight tickets and airport transfers and car rental and all kinds of things and of, of course hotels and here I wrote about the different places and also some general information and activities for activities you can also use um, an affiliate program. So for this this site, for all these affiliate programs, I used only this one, travelpayouts.com, which is like a collection of affiliate programs. So they register themselves to these programs, and the, then you can use these prog programs through them, and then they get uh, commission after your commissions but the advantage is that they have many many travel related affiliate programs and you can join just with one click so currently they have 62 programs like booking.com, airhelp, rental cars, get your guide, 
postal word, and so on. Even busbot, which is for buses, which I use a lot here when I'm traveling in South America. Okay, so this is monetization. And for the content, of course, you can write your own articles or you can use the help of ChatGPT. ChatGPT can write also in Portuguese, but maybe it's not that good quality like an English article. So I would just write an English article and then translate it with Deepo. And they have a Brazilian Portuguese version as well. So you can just use their service. Or if you want to do it even better for SEO, then I would suggest Surfer AI for English articles. You can read what it does. But it's basically a much better version of ChatGPT for SEO, for writing long articles. So that's it for this domain. If you have some more questions, just book a strategy call with me or just buy this very strong domain. Thank you.